So that crunch you hear in the background is my dog deciding to eat every time I sit down to shoot a video. What's up guys, welcome to another episode of The Miller Effect, a gaming news show of my favorite stories from throughout the week. If that's something you're into, stay a while. Go ahead and hit that sub button down below. Now, just like I said in the last one, I'm just I'm just in a lazy mood. So we're, we're right here again. We're sitting at my computer instead of in the normal spot that The Miller Effect takes place at, but that's okay. That's okay. At least I'm trying to tell myself that's okay, that I'm being lazy. But let's start with some old news, some news that I didn't get to last week, and that's that Cyberpunk has been delayed again. What once was a September 17th game is now a November 19th game. Now CD Projekt Red dropped a statement saying that the reason being is even though everything's in the game, they still need to work out some bugs and some balancing just because the game is so huge and I want them to take as much time as they need and then if it means me having to wait and play this in November, possibly starting it on the PS5, whereas before I thought maybe, you know, start it and then via PS5's version of Smart Delivery, playing it on, on there and continuing it. But don't worry, because while we're waiting for Cyberpunk, we can all just play Crash Bandicoot 4, which is reportedly going to drop October 9th. Now at the time of this recording, the official reveal, not the leaks that happened all last week, is scheduled for tomorrow. But when you're watching this, it's today. So it probably happened already. If you've seen it, go down below and let me know what you thought. I might be doing a reacts video to it because you know, why not content? But enough about games, let's talk about hardware because the vice president of UX design at PlayStation, Matt McLaurin, took to LinkedIn. Weird place to do this. I feel like it usually happens on Reddit. But anyway, he took to LinkedIn to answer some fans' questions about the gigantic size of the PS5. Now, when asked why the new product has to be bigger and bulkier, McLaurin said, quote, thermals. This gen is little supercomputers. While the seven nanometer process delivers amazing heat performance for the power, the power is very extreme. So even though I love the small and, and sleek look to the PS4, I'm willing to trade off the size if it means it's not going to sound like a jet plane taking off. Fingers crossed that they really did something unique with like that heat management this time and it's not just big and bulky for the sake of being big and bulky and they're using the thermals as an excuse. But all right guys, that's it for me. That's all I really want to talk about in this one. Leave a comment down below what you think the true meaning of the PlayStation size is. And, and that's it. I'll see you in the next one. Oh, and don't, don't you think I forgot about Skate? All right, we're gonna have a totally separate video that might actually be on the channel by the time you're watching this. But don't think I forgot about that. That, that definitely was a big story from last week but we're gonna talk about it in its own video. So I'll see you there.